Hello guys, this is Keku and today I'm going to share with you a trick that I use when I am tanking and I've seen that many players do not know it, new players and old players also. And this is a very important and will prevent you from getting one shot most of the time. Probably happened to you when you are tanking a boss and you felt cheated because he blocks, you try to break him and he automatically launch you. Well, we are going to talk about that here because it's it's not a random it's not a random action. It's something that is not explicit in the game and it's an old mechanic actually. There are visual indicators which you can use to anticipate the movements or attack that a boss is is going to make. Here I'm going to show you how to read these indicators and this works with almost every boss in the game and I said almost every boss because it depends on the mechanic and the special skills of each boss. I call these indicators um, yellow lights because they are yellow lights actually or blinking yellow light. And they appear uh, around the boss when he is in combat. Now I'm going to show you with an example of what I'm talking about and for this I use as a volunteer our friend Hank. Ok, let's see. Here what we're going to do is first of all recognize the yellow light and the different situation that they going to spam and what we should do when they spam. This is the first one. If the boss block, when you are fighting with him, he block and the yellow lights spam, that means that he's gonna launch you after that, so what you should do is just block. Don't try to block break him, because it's not gonna work. This is the, the typical mistake that the tanks made always. Always when you are tanking you have to be moving from one side to other side to avoid the damage, this is called um, kite tanking, you know, but there is some attacks that you need to block, you have to block because otherwise you're gonna get one shot and that's why it's so important to know about this mechanic. Okay, now we're going to know when we need and don't need to block. The next example on this video is about what happened when the boss is doing a block breaker and the light spam. When that happens, normally the people what he's gonna try to do is launch him because he's doing a block breaker. But if he have the light, he's gonna get immunity if you launch him. The light is telling you that you have to block break him after that attack. So, block breaker, here we go. And the last one is a little bit tricky, um, it's because if the boss is doing a combo, a weapon combo, and after the third hit, the light spam, that means that he's gonna do a block breaker, a real block breaker. So, in that case, you have to launch him, like here. Light spam, so it's gonna be one, two, three, and now we launch. Knowing about these mechanics in combination with another techniques like a jump clipping for your block breakers and power clipping for your launches is gonna help you on your job as a tank. So what I recommend is if you still need to learn how to read them or practice you can do it with this bounty because he clearly is showing the, the light every time the, he, he does an attack. After you get it Trust me, you're gonna see a huge difference when you tank something else. Okay guys, that's all for this video. I hope you like it and help you. If you wanna know about another techniques or mechanics about tanking or other role, just please leave a comment, like and subscribe. And see you on the next video.